Welcome to the Carbon Falcon Assembly Guide. This guide provides step-by-step -step instructions for assembling your Carbon Falcon pre-build kit. Follow these instructions carefully to ensure that your airplane is assembled correctly and functions properly. Inside the box, you will find the components for your Carbon Falcon. For detailed instructions on how to assemble the Carbon Falcon airplane, please access the following link. The Carbon Falcon Frame You should also have a bag in the box that contains the wall mount and the ribs. The sail with the color you selected on the website. Two hardware bags. One of the hardware bags contain extra servo hardware. The other hardware bag contain rubber bands and rubber band holders, which will need to be glued onto the sail. Let's get started by opening the Carbon Falcon pre-build kit. The first step is to sand the edges of the ribs to prevent them from cutting the sail. I'm using 220 grit sandpaper, but you can also use 120 grit. It's important to be careful and gentle when sanding the edges of the ribs to avoid damaging them or the sail. Sand all the edges until they become smooth and there are no rough spots or burrs. As you can see, everything is now smooth. We will use these sanded ribs in the next step. Now, let's prepare the sail before we glue the rubber band holders onto it. Follow these directions to prepare the rubber band holders and place them in the designated spots as shown in the video. A light sand is always good for better adhesion when gluing. Use a small piece of sandpaper to lightly scratch the sail. Be gentle so as not to damage the sail. This will help with better gluing. Do it on all five gluing points. Clean the area with alcohol, preferably using isopropyl. Put a piece of plastic underneath the sail to prevent gluing the sail to the working bench. We recommend using medium CA glue. Do not use too much glue and avoid gluing the tongue. We suggest gluing only the sides. Now, let's glue the rubber band holder onto the sail. Repeat the same procedure for all five points, but remember not to glue the tongue. The top one needs to be at least 3 mm or 1 8 inch away from the top edge.
Take a close look so you can see how it needs to be after you're done. Let's start building the frame into the sail. First, detach the nose piece from the frame and carefully insert it into the designated spot on the sail. The keel frame should be attached to the nose piece. To know which side goes to the right or the left, look at these little holes. They always need to be facing up. So, this is the right side. Just the longest carbon fiber goes through the leading edge all the way to the end to be attached into the nose piece. The other three carbon fibers should be placed over the square on the sail and attached to the keel frame. Attach the leading edge to the nose piece first, and then proceed to attach the keel frame. Repeat the same procedure for the left side. Open both wing warp actuators. Turn the carbon falcon facing upwards to start inserting the ribs. We have four different sizes of ribs, let's begin by inserting the largest one in the middle. This rib is the only one that is inserted from the leading edge. This is the order of the ribs from the largest to the smallest one, starting from the center and moving towards the edges. Insert the rib in the space between the fabric layers. Rotate the carbon falcon and start inserting the rest of the ribs from the trailing edge. Do the same procedure of inserting the ribs between the layers of fabric. Insert the rubber bands into the fabric and edges by stretching them. I like to place this one in the motor mount first, and then stretch it between the carbon fiber into the fabric. Repeat the procedure for all five rubber band holders.
These little spacers are included in the kit. However, you are not required to use it, as is already used to put the pre-built kit together. Insert the Velcro in the battery mount. Please see our next video for final setup instructions. Attach the clevis, and you're ready for the next step in the setup video. Thanks for watching.